turns up on the big day, Breeders' Crown Day. It's been a long season. He's uh, maintained that uh, condition pretty well and maintained his form, and he's got the uh, the final hurdle uh, over uh, and done with Chris uh, with a bit of a sigh of relief by the looks of things. Yeah, he, um, you know, like we said, they've all had long years, these horses, and he's uh, <laughs> probably on his worst behaviour today. He wouldn't even warm up. He kept getting to the gate and... Um, jacking up and stopping on the middle of the track and um, yeah we got to the first turn he just slammed the brakes on like he was going to pull up again and um, I think Anthony's horse might have actually run in the back of him for a stride so thankfully he didn't gallop and uh, then he sort of got his mind on the job and I just <clears throat> had to keep yelling at him just to keep him thinking um, so he wasn't sort of I didn't want to be out in front by myself but um, I had to yell at him to keep him concentrating and uh, yeah he was good. Good, good run today, you know, two minutes on this bad day and windy and that. And, yeah, he, he'll have a nice rest now and hopefully come back better, get, better next year. Well done, Dexter. Uh, started the day off pretty well. Hey, yeah, I have. Um, you know, Jack's done a great job with Sweet Philly and um, she came up with a good draw and she can use it, um, you know, off the gate. And, you know, she travelled great the whole way. She relaxed good. I... Um, you know, I was travelling pretty good, come the 600, so I sort of asked her to press on and she sort of gapped them out pretty quick and um, she actually did it pretty easy and then I sort of set up in the last 100 and she sort of jogged over the line. Pretty special moment for Jack? It is. Um, you know, Jack's just started uh, uh, training, you know, he's only he's probably his second or third year. Uh, he went meet a nicer fella, so, um, hey, look, I'm pretty lucky too because I've been away for a month and uh, Jack and Anthony Butt have been looking after and doing the hard work, so um, I've just come over here and got on the final day and, um, you know, she's got the job done. You pressed on, uh, lead time was uh, reasonably solid for the trotters and you were able to find the top and to the credit of the horse, he really fought on uh, very strongly. He looked to be in a little bit of trouble just before the turn, but he uh, responded really well. Yeah, he's a funny horse, Rob. He never travels that well. And even last uh, when he won at Maryborough, he was off the bit a long way out. And um, yeah, I think, um, I think he probably does need a spell since we've had him. He, he probably seems a little bit tired. So he's done a good job today and hopefully after a freshen up, he, he comes back a little bit better. Well, he's uh, won his fourth race uh, from 18 starts and wins a Breeders' Crown. Yeah, well, he had pretty good um, form in New Zealand and um, when we got him, you know, I liked him, but he didn't do anything special at home and, um, you know, luckily, you know, today this race probably wasn't as, uh, as hard as what they normally are, but Barry 7 was a huge worry and I do think he's, he's sort of better off the pace, so, but hopefully he's sort of learning and we're sort of forced to do what we had to do today from the draw and, um, yeah, he was able to get the job done. Norm didn't want to brave the, uh, the nice weather here in Melbourne. He's lived in Queensland his whole life, so I think he'd almost die today. But um, Norm's been really good to us. He's just bought you know, quite a few horses from New Zealand the last 12 months, and he gets a huge thrill out of it. And uh, we're extremely lucky that he, he just keeps buying these horses. And, and as a result, we're able to win, win good, good races. She's a very special horse. Uh, her record speaks for itself, and she's pulled off another big one here today. Oh, thanks, Rob. Um, whether or not she's a superstar in other people's eyes, she is in ours. And um, she's been at the top, you know, the top of these races all year. And um, to cap off the season with a win like that um, in a Breeders' Crown, which is, you know, the best of the best in Australasia, is just unbelievable. It's, uh, you only have to look at the honour roll, uh, you, uh, you have to be a class horse to win this race and today uh, the barrier draw, uh, though she drew barrier three, you had to earn it, you had to come out of the gate, the tempo throughout the race was very solid, you had your challenges and she was just too strong. Yeah exactly, I mean you know barrier draws are just a number and you got to deal with it each time you go up but um, you know to be able to hold the challenges early and, and have your main fancies chasing you for a change is you know in harness racing, we all know is is really hard to do. So um, yeah, we we were happy to roll along and you know have, give great confidence. You know whatever the outcome that we knew that she'd give us 110 percent like she always does. You've uh, competed in these races uh, and been uh, been a part of this series for quite a long time. And I would imagine as a trainer, and you know you're still a young fella uh, coming uh, coming through the ranks. And I'm sure the experience in the past has really put you in good stead in the way you've prepared her today. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, even just from, you know, her last uh, assignment, you learn so much in how to prepare them during the week and all that. But, um, you know, we're very lucky.
congratulations. Uh, what an exciting moment. Uh, isn't it lovely to see the whole family here to support you? It must make you feel very special. Yeah, I am. I do feel so special. They're a wonderful bunch and um, I'm so, so lucky. You have no idea, Rob. No idea. Well, uh, I know you've been through uh, plenty of uh, ups and downs with this horse. The highs have been phenomenal. The downs have probably been at times where you've lost uh, plenty of hours of sleep. I have, I have. It's actually taken its toll. It's ridiculous to say, and I'm a little bit embarrassed to say, but this horse has had a, a, a detrimental effect on me, and I've just got to chill out a little bit. Um, but yeah, no. Well, it's uh, no surprise you say that, because uh, I think most people that have uh, been associated with, uh, with very good horses, uh, they all say the same thing. Uh, the, the, the amount of stress that goes behind, uh, the, the lack of sleep, you, you're worrying every move that you make, how's the horse and why isn't he going that well? And, and we spoke about it a few weeks ago when he was in the 1-1 one, here one night and he just didn't let down. It, it was just not the horse that we know that he, he's capable of doing and you really stepped up the work uh, in his track work and uh, he's really responded. Yeah, he has, he has. He's a good horse and he's a good trier. He's got a heart of gold, this horse. He's, um, I'm amazed he can fit his heart in his body. It's that big. So, yeah, it's terrific, Rob. Talk to me about the race itself. Uh, did it pan out the way you were expecting? No, nothing like that. I thought uh, Chris would, might, might go forward and try and get him behind Gavin, but then Chris put the brakes on and uh, I had to sort of swing back really to last. And then, um, yeah, when I pulled out three wide, I was praying someone would make a move, but no one did. And then at the 400, he was just travelling so well. It was, um, yeah, it was really good. I never pulled a deafness or, or anything, so it was, it was a good job, you know. Well done, Chris. Yeah, thanks, Rob. She's a, you know, super filly. She just doesn't know how to lay down and... Apart from being strong, she's fast as well. And, uh, yeah, you know, I was ashamed she lost last week by her nose. But to come back today and win was just super effort. Barry, 13 uh, is never easy to win from. And uh, certainly uh, for the babies, it's, uh, it's very, very hard because... Uh, they're uh, all pretty evenly matched and um, Barry draws, as we know, in these big races uh, are very important. And when you draw 13, you, you think to yourself, well, uh, I've got the task ahead of me. But she was able to get around, uh, got some nice cover uh, throughout in the early part to get up to the breeze. And at that point, uh, were, were you comfortable uh, how, how you got there? Yeah, well, um, it was good. You know, Anthony was probably sick when he pulled 12 and 13 out last week, but... She settled really nice early and there was a little bit of speed out of the gate, but um, she trailed around really good and, and always felt really strong. And, um, you know, when we decided to get going off the back, you know, um, she, she just sort of put the other one away and then the other one nearly run her down, but thankfully she stuck her head out and was too good. Oh, no, it's just wrapped for this little fellow. He was <clears throat> struggling away a little bit. Um, a couple of months ago with some issues but uh, Clayton and Emma have done a great job to get him back to his, his old self and um, yeah you know he, he, he had a little bit of luck today with the leader galloping and being able to get to the front but he still had to go pretty fast to win and uh, he's a great little horse. Unbelievable perform performance. It was a race uh, full of uh, action wasn't it uh, as you mentioned with the leader galloping and you sort of weaved your way through in a few different spots there and uh, I could see you looking around and weren't sure yourself which way you were going to go. Yeah, no, that's what was, you know, interesting. I was sort of didn't really want to trail on Mr Lombo and, and then the leader broke so we got to the front and then I thought Stars Align had dropped in on my back and um, when the Jillaby horse came I thought, oh, well, we'll be able to take a trail here and get, get him behind us. But um, then I looked and I went, oh, no, he's not on the fence. So I <laughs> sort of mucked it up a little bit. Yeah, thankfully, he, he stuck his little head out and, um, and he won. What a lovely horse. Uh, great win, Dave. Oh, absolutely. You know, we, um, I think the way he went today, he's obviously improved during the week and yeah, it was just, he was always travelling and uh, they kept coming and kept having a look at him and we kept going and I'm glad I got there first. Yeah, well that's, uh, that's uh, no doubt uh, in what you were saying because uh, they certainly tested him and he's just got the physical strength about him. I think uh, the more you throw at him, the more he responds. Yeah, yeah, you know, and he's only just learning too, you know, and um, no, it's a good effort. Ray Green, big effort uh, for him, a big, uh, big thrill? Oh, absolutely, you know, they've, uh, the team have come over a couple of times and 
just haven't got it right and I'm lucky enough to be the one that's got it for them. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, Tanae, uh, he's got the good gait speed. He just seems to be such a versatile uh, horse and pretty relaxed too, by the looks at him. Oh, great nature. He just sits down in the stalls there and nothing worries him and it's a good attribu attribute to have and it obviously helps him as well. And uh, yourself, uh, obviously enjoy coming here, especially if you're winning. Yeah, I always come, I love coming over here and winning. You can't beat it. Well done, uh, Nathan, on a great win. Yeah, thanks, Robbie. Uh, you know, all credit's got to go to Yabby Dams and Anton and Pat and all the team there. You know, it's a team effort. It's such a great big operation. You know, it's far from a two-man job, but, um, you know, Anton's head's on the chopping block if something goes wrong. So you've got to give him a lot of the credit. And, um, you know, for them to stick by me and put me on, her, I'd just, yeah, over the moon. You've been uh, here before. It's not an easy uh, day to uh, turn up and win, as we've seen uh, many of our favourites today. Uh, things have gone wrong. You were uh, engaged earlier on as well with the Trotter uh, race two that you thought probably had a good chance and uh, things blew up at the start. Yeah, that's right. You know, you can uh, go from hero to zero very quickly uh, these days like this and, uh, you know, it's the elite and that's what makes it so special. And um, for this mayor to finally get a group one um, on the board, it... Um, yeah, it's really special, and, and I'm sure the, the gang at Abbey Dams uh, will cherish it. Well done, Nathan. Uh, congratulations to you on a uh, wonderful winning drive.